We are providing veterinary readiness training and at the same time we're doing veterinary care mission for the small cattle farmers in the area. I'm originally from, believe it or not, Honduras. As a, as a kid, I used to see some of the brigades coming out and doing some of the mission. And from that moment, I knew that I wanted to be part of that. This area was heavily affected by Eta and Ayora hurricanes, and that make the animal most stressed and vulnerable to all the endemic diseases. So vaccinating it ensure that the cow will maintain their health status and it will help them keep the health of the herd. The, these cattle, especially for uh, these endemic diseases, they should be vaccinated yearly. So we had the, the cold chain to maintain the vaccine. We got the trained personnel and we got all the needles and syringes needed to do a whole herd in one day or as many cows as we can process through the day. It probably take, it will take them three, four days to do what we do in one day. We have 68 Romeos, which are veterinary food inspectors. We are cross training with military police, medical logistics, PAO personnel. This is key for readiness training. In the event that there is an emergency, we are prepared and we have a force that is trained to help out with this type of veterinary missions. These are austere environment. If call, they can come and help out. We can do larger number with the help of the members because the veterinary team is relatively small for the mission. JTF Bravo, the last vet red was in 1995. From the moment that I got here, I knew that we wanted to get this started. I started working with them. And we started in El Salvador, but now we're down here in Honduras and everybody's excited and looking forward to continue this.